It's a love story, albeit an unusual one. A man rescues a lion, gives it a home, and they become best friends. But Taymor is just one of hundreds of mistreated animals that Jasmali Salim has adopted from local families and cared for in his own zoo. In fact, Jasmali's two-acre plot in Ras al Khaimah currently houses more than 30 different species, from lions to leopards to snakes. Many of the animals living here are either endangered or exotic and were initially bought on the black market. So how was it exactly that they ended up here in Jasmine's home? So Jasmine, what made you want to start collecting animals? When I was a child, I had love for the animals and love for the animals. I was about 15 years old. Now, a lot of people here in the UAE and the Gulf own these exotic animals and they keep them as pets. How do you feel about that? How old is this lion? Uh, he's eight months. Eight months. So this is actually a baby? Baby, yes. Is he dangerous? Yeah. Yes, he's dangerous, and I'm here sitting in this cage with him. I'm with you. But as Jasm, commonly known as the UAE's Dr. Doolittle, tumbles around in the garden with his white lion, wraps his 85 kilo snake around his body, and allows Taymor to embrace him, one has to wonder just how safe he really is. Well, Jessam allows us to get up close and personal with most of the animals, some of them are strictly off limits, including this jaguar who's new to the zoo and Jessam tells me is going to need at least four or five months of training before anyone can safely interact with him. It's said that you're able to communicate with these animals, that you understand their body language. How does that work exactly? So with keeping all these animals around, what is your end goal? What do you hope to accomplish here? This sanctuary has not only welcomed hundreds of animals, but it continues to host thousands of visitors. And while seeing these amazing species is definitely entertaining, witnessing a man communicating with them is simply spectacular. Yeah, it was. It uh, that was. was a hyena, wasn't it? It was a hyena. And I have to say a big thank you to Dina. Mm. I don't think there is anyone else in the team that will mm. go mm. as far and leave so few stones unturned mm. reporting yeah, for I Studio know. One. She's brave. Unbelievable. She's brave. We're proud of you. In cages with lions, stroking uh, hyenas. Yeah, she swam with sharks last week. Being shown Remember? up by monkeys playing mm. around behind her. So what's, what's it for you, um, jaguars or lions? We're heading over to the kitchen. Yeah.